Hi, fifth graders. So right now we're starting to learn about the Chinese New Year and about what music is in that. So I thought it'd be really nice before we kind of delve into the music to read a myth. This is the Chinese dragon spirit myth called the dragon, the phoenix, and the beautiful pearl. And I like to read this one every year because it's kind of more like a graphic novel than a... Uh, a, a regular book and I think the artwork's really beautiful and this year is special because I get to read it with my daughters so this is Amelia and Ramona and they're dying to hear the story so you guys can be good listeners okay let's read this oh and here's our characters our mythical creatures this is the dragon who is the best friend to the phoenix this is Shi Wang Mu she's not very nice and the celestial river is actually the Milky Way which is a collection of stars in the sky Okay. Yeah. Once there was a band of light that lit up the night sky. It was called the Celestial River. Here lived two very special creatures. They were the Golden Phoenix and the Jade Dragon. The dragon lived in a cave on one side of the river. The phoenix lived on the other side. They saw each other but never spoke. The phoenix would spread her wings and fly to the stars. The dragon would dive into the icy river. Down, down, he would swim to the many colored stones. Sometimes the dragon would listen to the phoenix's song, and sometimes the phoenix would look down at the dragon. One day, the phoenix and the dragon saw an island rising from the river. How fun it would be to explore it, they thought. And this is how they became friends. When they got there, they found it covered in flowers. This was just one of the island's secrets. In a pool, the phoenix found something special. Look at how the stone shines, she said, holding it up for the dragon to see. The dragon had not seen a stone like this before. Why don't we make it even more beautiful, he said. The dragon held the stone in one of his big claws. Bit by bit, he scratched away at its surface. Now I will use my beak, the phoenix said, from her perch in one of the trees. She chipped off tiny pieces of the stone. Weeks and months went by. The phoenix and the dragon became even better friends. They liked working on the stone together. When the stone was smooth and round, they looked for water to wash it in. The phoenix gathered dew while the dragon went to the celestial river. Then they polished the stone until it shone. Look, said the phoenix, it's a pearl. The dragon and the phoenix were proud of their pearl, so they decided to stay on the island. Together, the dragon said, we will guard our pearl so it shines forever. The pearl's magic amazed the phoenix and the dragon. Everything became beautiful in its light. The trees grew taller. The flowers never lost their petals. Our pearl is brighter than the sun, the phoenix said. Our pearl is brighter than the moon, replied the dragon, and they were both right. The pearl shone even brighter than all the stars in the night sky. A pearl this special could not stay secret for long. Far away, the goddess Shi Wang Mu saw its light. Is that a new star? She asked one of her guards. No, the guard replied, bowing deeply. It is a pearl in the celestial river. A pearl as fine as this one should be mine, thought the goddess. Shi Wang Mu couldn't stop thinking about the pearl, which each day that passed, she thought only of how it might be hers. Finally, the goddess sent one of her guards to get it. Bring me that pearl, the goddess demanded. The guard sailed the celestial river until he reached the island. There, he waited for the dragon and the phoenix to fall asleep. Then the guard slipped past the sleeping friends. Lifting the dragon's long white beard, he took the pearl from under it. The next morning, the dragon opened one of his red, fiery eyes, but no light greeted it. Instead, the dragon and the phoenix found themselves alone. Someone has stolen our pearl, cried the dragon. Quick, said the phoenix, there is no time to lose. We must find it. The friends searched all over the island. The dragon dove into the celestial river. He looked along the riverbed. The phoenix flew over the treetops. They both could not find it anywhere. Don't give up, the dragon told the phoenix. One day, we will find our pearl. At her palace, surrounded by peach trees, Shi Wang Mu was pleased. I have never seen such a beautiful pearl, she said, and now it's mine. The goddess hid the pearl deep within her palace. 
No one will ever find you in here, she told the pearl, and she closed nine doors behind her. The pearl stayed locked away for a long time. Though the dragon and the phoenix watched the sky, they never saw its light. Then one day, it was Shi Wang Mu's birthday party. All the gods and goddesses in heaven came. Shi Wang Mu couldn't help but show off in front of her guests. Friends, she said, I must show you something very special. One by one, the goddess pulled nine keys from her pocket, and one by one, she unlocked the doors. The guests crowded near. What could it be, they wondered. When the last door opened, light filled the room. You will never see such beauty again, the goddess said, placing the pearl on a golden tray. On the island, the dragon and the phoenix saw the light too. Look, yelled the phoenix, pointing at the sky. Our pearl is calling us, said the dragon happily. The dragon and the phoenix were determined to get their pearl back. They, I don't know what's going to happen. We got to find out. They flew higher and higher into the clouds. They followed the light all the way to the palace. The dragon and the phoenix landed at Shi Wang Mu's palace and ran inside. Give us back our pearl, they shouted. It's mine, cried the angry goddess. She ordered her guards to throw them out. The dragon and the phoenix would not give up. They grabbed for the tray, but Shi Wang Mu was very stubborn. She would not let go. Each pulled with all its might. In the confusion, the pearl was thrown from the tray. Shocked, the dragon and the phoenix watched as the pearl began to fall. Oh no, gasped the phoenix. We can't lose it again. The dragon and the phoenix rushed out of the palace. They chased after the pearl as it tumbled toward the earth. Faster and faster they flew, but they could not catch it. The pearl fell to the island and changed into a shimmering green lake. Let us stay here and guard the pearl, the phoenix said. Yes, agreed the dragon. We will be friends forever. And so the phoenix and the dragon became great mountains beside the lake. To this day, they are still there, keeping the pearl safe. The end. What did you that, think? That evil dude. You think that was evil? The evil dude? Yeah, that evil. The evil dude. Uh, I think. Yeah, she might be confused, that's okay. She's three, she's allowed to be confused. What did you think of the story? Great, I thought it was cool and great. So, so do you know what the dragon and the phoenix turned into? Did you catch what they said? They were turned into mountains. They turned into mountains. Covering the lake so no one could see it again. Could the dragon turn into a moon? Into a moon, that would be cool. That's not what happened, but that'd be cool. That's awesome. Do you think this is a fact? Do you think this is fiction or nonfiction? Remember, yeah. fiction means fake. Fiction means not a real thing. What, what's your guess? Hmm, what's I, your prediction? Uh, I, I'm coming with both because I don't know. With you don't know? Okay. I wonder what you I guys really think. Fact or fiction? A, I um, think the fiction. fiction. I said a one on this one. But I think that this is a story that they used to explain why these two beautiful mountains were surrounding a green lake. I think they thought of the story to kind of like explain that, like why is that lake so green? It must be magical. I think it was algae, but I also think the story is beautiful, so I don't know. All right. If I ever find it out, tell mama. You'll tell me? You promise? Yeah, yeah I'm gonna drop a picture of it. Okay, that sounds great. Okay, you. When I get older, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, when you get older, can you guys say bye? Bye. bye. I, no, I don't see anybody. Well, they're not. They're gonna watch the video. They're not there. Mm -hmm. Say bye, guys. Bye, bye. guys.